Oh, yes. <laughs> what was your name? No, really. What? What's your name? <laughs> That's not your name. Miss Brindley? Brindley? I'm sorry to tell you this, but that's not a real name. No, your parents lied to you. I am focusing and centering myself. I am the substitute for this class today. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it was quite urgent that the, the <laughs> teacher couldn't be here. I'm, I'm trying to extract all of the goodness from this that I possibly can. <sighs> Miss, um, what did you say your name was? Brindley? Yes. I, I will not be calling you that. Um, no. That, see, that is incorrect. That is not your name. Um, well, your birth certificate is wrong, then. I'm gonna call you... I'm going to call you Prairie Breeze. Do you know what Prairie Breezes do? They blow in and then they go away. So I'm hoping that you will fulfill your, your name's promise and do that when we finish this exchange so I can get back to centering myself. Yes, I, I, I am the substitute. Yes, my, my name is Harvest. I am required, though, by the judge's order to tell you that my earthbound name is Karen. Um, that's good enough. You can call me Harvest because that's my actual name. Yes, but I, the judge was very insistent that I, I cannot... He used the word lie to people. I don't care for that word. Misleading. That's just as bad. So I am the substitute for this class. Today I was told to come in here. I have already cleansed the room. I have burned some sage and yes, that was the fire alarm. I burned some sage and it was very cleansing. It was quite lovely because it flushed all of the proles out of here, like all of the, the unwashed masses left and it was actually peaceful for a moment. But their essences remain. I wish I could do the sage again, but the fire marshal took it away. I'm not allowed within 50 feet of a lighter for the next 30 days. It's very unfortunate. Little do they know I know how to start my own fires. <laughs> I'm resourceful. I am a person of the earth. I do not believe in using man-made materials for anything. There's never a good reason to do it. I am sorry. Of course I'm not wearing a mask. Why would I wear a mask? <laughs> well, perhaps, perhaps, Perry Breeze, you don't really understand the essence of, of me. I, are you familiar with me? I am quite famous in the uh, Camden-Nathanville area. No. Well, that's okay. I'm sure you do your best. I am the essence of love and light. I am a certified pure organic being. I do have a certification, which I am happy to gesture for you if you would like to see my certification. Oh, I don't believe in paper, no. No tree should ever have to die because I have to prove something to another human. So I have my certifications right here and I am more than happy to gesture any of them that you need to see and then all you do is look into the space between my fingers and the certification manifests itself. My, my teaching certificate? Absolutely. I'm going to open that up for you. Here we have it. I can blow on it. That will make it a little bit more visible to people who are not enlightened as yourself. Because that, that infuses it with all of my spirit and all of my energy. There we go. There's my teaching certification. My little helped me achieve it. Isn't it beautiful? My little? My little? Do you not have littles? 
Oh my goodness. They occupy the space with you during certain periods of time in your life. I have two littles that live with, oops, I'm sorry. I was holding it up for you to see. Can you see it yet? So my little, one of them, his name is Ngi. No, no, with the back of the throat. Ngi? Ngi? Never mind, it's okay. I do teach a class on Tuesdays at 3 if you're interested in learning the pronunciation and the spelling of Ngi. Well, I'll get back to you on that. I do need you to blow away here in a moment, but I'm explaining. Please just shut up a little bit. Ngi? helped me obtain the certificate so that I may work to earn some money for my husband Fisher. <laughs> it's, it's quite wonderful. Yes, Nki and I work with an illuminated shaman. We work with breath. Breath. Breath? Are you not following me? I keep forgetting sometimes when I speak to mortals that they don't quite follow things as closely as they should. Let me start over. Okay. I will try to talk to you as if you're one of these little things that will be in my room in a moment. Okay. Just patience, love and light, love and light. I am love and light. I can get through anything. I was kind of hoping I would open my eyes and you would not be there. Ngi and I work with an illuminated shaman. I'm going to put this away while I explain this because I do not believe that you're capable of seeing it just yet. So I'm going to actually put, I'm going to put it away for the moment. There's no sense in me holding it up for no reason. Are you familiar with breath? Breath is not a thing. Breath is an essence. Breath, breath has a body. Breath has a body. Are you familiar with what a shaman is? Have you ever heard of a shaman on one of your television shows that you watch obsessively in all of your free time? Do they ever speak of such enlightened things? Or do you just watch people chase balls around a field or argue over men? And then cry in a mansion because the man didn't pick them. <laughs> Such a wonderful use of your time. A shaman. I will explain this for you. Oh, there goes the bell. I will have to hurry. A shaman is a, is a spiritual guide. It's someone who can communicate with the spirit world and then get back to the humans on the planet. And breath is our illuminated shaman. You seem confused, Prairie Breeze. Perhaps you need to sit in my class because we're going to be discussing interesting things today, I'm sure. I have 50 minutes to fill to earn my $42, so I want to make this worthwhile for everyone. <laughs> I want to make sure you get your money's worth. Breath lives on the side of a mountain. Breath knows all. Breath came to me in a moment. There was an epiphany that I had at the airport Hilton conference room B. I had a moment with Breath. Breath was holding a conference and helping people obtain spiritual enlightenment. And he and I attended this ceremony, this event with Breath. I have followed breath ever since. Ever since, breath is the best. Breath has given Ngi the go-ahead to be a certified certifier. It was an amazing, life-changing moment there at the Hilton in the conference room with breath. And he said, Ngi is spiritually awake. And he now has the key to certify anyone with anything. He is a certified certifier. So he took his key. It looks like the little thing on cans of Spam, if you've ever seen that. I was given a can of Spam once at a co-op. It's the worst day of my life. It looked like that though. Ngi, with his key, certified me to be a certified teacher. 
and he manifested my certification as I'm doing for you again now I'm going to use my twinkle fingers and there it is do you see now this gives me the ability to teach anywhere at any time ID um, like an identification one moment I'm going to put this aside There's my ID. Can you see that? If you come closer and sniff the soap, I think it will give you what you need to see what you need to see. You can sniff it. It's okay. Please don't pull your mask down. Do you not care about my safety? Put your mask back up. That's disgusting. Try to sniff it through the mask. Don't touch it with the mask. I would, I would have to, I would have to perform an exorcism and I don't really have time for that today. I'm very busy. Okay, so can you see it now? Well, I don't know what to tell you then, Prairie Breeze, except maybe it's time for you to blow away because these little things are going to be coming in here and um, I don't really have time for you anymore. So I will not be requiring your services. No, I, I am not in need of an assistant. <laughs> and... I wasn't going to say anything, but it, it really does not speak well for the regular teacher of this class if they actually need someone to help them do their job. Um, of course, I'm, I'm not here to judge, but that makes her a bad person. And you are enabling, you are enabling this person by being an assistant, and which also makes you bad. In some ways, you're actually worse. So anyway. Ta -ta. I need you to flee before me now. Just blow away and I'm going to deal with these little things that are coming in here. I, I am not in need of anything. I certainly don't need that. You do not need to thrust that at me. That I am prepared to defend myself if need be. Prairie Breeze. I, I wasn't aware that I was expected to do that. I, 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 I strongly protest. This is a book. This is a book. This is not a book. This is not a... All right. Rational numbers. There's nothing rational in here, I'm sure. I'll try my best. I am loving light. I am loving light. Hello, people. <laughs> yes, please have a seat. Um, ooh. I need you all to take your seats. Prairie Breeze, they're not, they're not doing what I said. They're not sitting down. What do I do? I think it would be best if I just tried to talk to them and they would understand that they need to do what I say. Okay, people, people, sit down. I wonder how the regular teacher handles stuff like this. Probably by giving them chemicals of some sort. I wonder what sort of things they're allowed to give these people. I think restraints would work. Perhaps. I need Nki. Nki. I will summon Nki. Summon Nki. Summon Nki. Yes, excuse me. Do not approach me. I can hear you from over there. Just you stay over there, little person, and ask your question. Um, you no, know, I, I, of course not. Why would I wear a mask? <laughs> Are you not familiar with who I am? Of course not. I have not introduced myself, and, and none of you are enlightened enough to have the gift of foresight. You wouldn't know who I am. Class. They're not listening. 
those of you who are listening, my name is Harvest. I am going to be your substitute today. Hmm. Mm. Yes. And to this particular individual who asked me why I wasn't wearing a mask, I am certified organic, which means that I have been through a process of cleansing that is so thorough and it's so effective that the air that I breathe out is actually cleaner than what I took in. I am a living purifier. Therefore, I have no need for such things as that. That's an interesting um, thing on your face. Is that supposed to do anything or... Yes, I see that it has little um, pictures on it, little puppy dogs. Um, did your, did your uh, adults loom that for you? I didn't. Hmm? No, I, I, just, I just wondered, how, how does one craft from the good earth with their own two hands a mask with puppy dogs on it? Where did you get the elastic for the, the loops? That wasn't milled from the earth. Oh, they, they bought it. I'm sorry your parents don't love you. It is a sh I said, are you hard of hearing? I said that I'm sorry your parents don't love you. It's always, it makes me sad to come to this school whenever I have to earn money for Fisher because it makes me so aware of how many children have have people in their lives that just don't care. They send them to school in clothing that they did not make with their own good hands from the earth. They would drive around in cars and I it makes me sad that I have to share a planet with, you know, individuals like yourself and you'll grow up to be like them and it's sad. But at least for this class, I want you to know that you are surrounded by love and light. I will be cleansing the air in the room as I breathe and as I speak to people like you or you. Fisher, that's my husband's name. See, I will just tell you a little bit about myself. I live in a yurt just outside of town. Um, I, I am... I am a mommy. I am a mommy. My littles are everything to me. They are my whole world and I try to follow them, but they go on these journeys. They go on these spiritual treks and they don't tell me where they're going. And sometimes they're going for a really long time. I'm trying to summon Guy right now and he's not answering me. I don't appreciate it. I don't know how to deal with it because at the moment I am still distracted by this class and the fact that most of you aren't listening to me and I don't know what to do about it. Perhaps I could hit you with this. That's probably, yeah. I better not. I don't want to go back to jail. I like to try to space those visits out. They, they do get tired of me. Um, they, they have a, a running bet. They take bets as to what I'll be in for next. And it's just the craziest stuff. A lot of it involves raccoons for some reason. I don't really understand why they enjoy making fun of me. But I get to hear about it and see them high five one another whenever I'm brought in and they find out why I'm there. And there's always a spot on their little board for it. They're really good at predicting things. Almost too good. What was in that coffee they gave me? Don't know. Anyway, my husband Fisher has been through a lot just in the last year. He was held hostage by some mercenaries in Cancun and they held him down there for ransom. And uh, a stripper named Bambi contacted me and said that the mercenaries were going to start biting his toes off if I didn't give them money. So I had to send them money and they finally released him. But he was really late for a meeting, see, in Serbia. 
Yes, that's what he said. Um, he sent me a telegram, which to get a telegram, you have to go out of town. And it took me three days to walk there. But he finally got there. He said that he was late for a meeting in Serbia. They are discussing ways to save the Mediterranean horseshoe bat. That is his latest campaign, the Mediterranean horseshoe bat, which when I first heard it, I thought those are three words that don't really go together. Mediterranean horseshoe bat. But it must be true, Fisher said that he has to help save the Mediterranean horseshoe bat. And he said he is, he's going to stay as long as it takes. And, and Natalia is there to make sure that he stays warm. I'm thinking Natalia must be some sort of coat maker because she promised to keep him nice and warm while he's there. So I hope that she's doing her best to craft from the good earth with her own two hands something to keep him warm. Yeah. So that little particular individual is why I'm here. I'm earning money to help pay for Fisher. Why are you having a problem with his name? His name is Fisher. It is a real name. And uh, so I have his birth certificate right here. You're not enlightened enough here. Sniff this. Don't pull your mask down. Okay. See? Can you see it now? Can you really see it or are you just saying? You see, Fisher, Fisher only lives to serve the earth, and he is a friend to all. He really seems to be a friend to a lot of the females that he runs across. And I'm so glad that in his travels, he's run across so many that are so willing to help him out of things and help him deal with sticky situations. Yeah, he got tied up once. Yeah, and... and Actually, Natalia was there for that, too, but I bet it was her coat-making skills that allowed her to untie him so quickly, dealing with knots and, and threading and, you know, working with her hands, and that's got to be what it was. That's it. That's, yes. Is that Ngi? Do you hear, do you hear Ngi, little people? That's not an airplane. Oh, perhaps it is. I got my hopes up. I thought maybe Mungi had finally responded to me. I don't know. It makes me sad. I'm supposed to do something with this uh, book thing. I don't like it. I haven't looked at it yet, but I've already decided that it's unsavory. We have things like this. Look at this exercise. What's the temperature? What is this supposed to represent? Does anyone know what this is supposed to represent? This crude drawing here on this dead tree that died for a dumb thing? A thermometer? See, this is why I don't like um, school. Because they lead so many littles astray. It's very unfortunate. You see, one doesn't need a thermometer. One needs to simply be in tune with the environment. I am inside, yet I know the temperature in Bora Bora. Once you're in tune with nature, and breath has really helped me with this. Breath is amazing. I highly recommend teachings from breath. He will be back at the Airport Hilton uh, conference room to be this following Thursday at 6 p.m. if anyone is interested. Um, I will be I will be pedaling my homemade cycle there if anyone is interested. You can hop on my back and I will take you. I will carry you up to the conference room and we can meet with Breath and then he can help you understand some things. Breath is amazing. Uh, he touched my shoulder and I felt a chill. I felt a chill. Oh, Breath is wonderful. It's been a while since anyone touched me like that. It was 
quite enlightening. One doesn't need a thermometer when one is enlightened. Once you become a fully organic being, you won't need it. Because everything about you just emanates goodness. And everything else just sort of falls into place. I don't know why more people don't do it. It takes work. That's probably why. Let's see if we can find anything fun in here. I'm not seeing anything good. Using negative numbers to make sense of contexts. Lesson five is um, problematic, you might say, because one doesn't use negativity to find the answers. No, once you become love and light, you don't need negativity anymore. You take the spoon of knowledge and you just say, away, away. I do believe in swaddling. That's why I'm swaddled in this room. It keeps the it keeps the diseases out that you people bring in here. This whole book just talks about negativity and relying on instruments instead of your own intuition and instincts. I don't like this book. It makes me sad. Oh dear. Lesson 10 is money and debts. Mm. Well, see, when one lets when one lets such a foolish thing as money take over their life, it can unfortunately lead to some bad decisions. Yes, and I'm starting to think that coming here was a bad decision, but I've been trying to sell my figurative turnips, but I have yet to find any buyers for my figurative turnips. Look at them; they're beautiful. And they're so tasty. Mm. And so nourishing. Mm. Would anyone like another figurative turnip? I'm selling these for only $5 each, which is a bargain. They consume no resources. And they are the most earth-friendly thing you can put into your body. Breath says that they're for the best. It's the best for the environment. Breath also said that I would be able to support myself selling these figurative turnips, but so far, I have yet to see that manifest itself. Perhaps Breath, perhaps Breath can buy some of my figurative turnips. I don't know. I'm not liking the direction this is taking. So class, if you will bear with me for a moment, I'm trying to figure out what class, what we can learn in this book that I was handed by that person that came in here and smelled like old honey. Okay, I'm not seeing anything good in here. Um, I think I think this book is a it's a travesty, honestly, which I'm assuming you all have one of these. Do you have any idea how many resources were consumed for you to have this thing? I condemn this book in the name of breath. I'm condemning it now. We are, we're, we are going to banish it to the netherworld. And I'm going to send it away with Prairie Breeze because I'm sure she's going to be back. I think, I think perhaps a better use of our time today, people, would be if we went ahead and learned how to craft our own teaching spoon. So if everyone would just pull out their logs. Why is that funny? Why are the boys laughing at that? Pull it. Please sit down. Zip your pants back up. That's inappropriate. That is not at all. I don't know why you're behaving this way. Um, you need some unschooling some significant unschooling. See, my littles were unschooled because I actually love my littles, unlike your parents who send you here to be babysat. I, my littles were unschooled, which means it's totally child-led. It, it's, it's based on, on Mother Nature and, and the way the world works. And um, you let the child decide what they learn, how much they learn. <laughs> and, uh, 
and in my littles. Well, they, they, they were so successful with their unschooling that uh, they've both shouted in my face that they never want to see me again. <laughs> So it was, I did my job. It was wonderful. They're, they're very independent now and then they said they don't care what happens to me. Breath said that's normal. Said that that's what littles do when they reach that rebellious stage. Usually starts around the age two and then goes on until you're deceased. Yes. Why are you approaching me? Ew! 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 No! What is that? Liquid! Ew! You have anointed me with that! You little person! Go! Go! Ew! Back! What's it called? Hand sanitizer. Well, I'm now going to have to burn the thing that I crafted from the good earth with my own two hands because of your sanitizer. When one is love and light, one does not need sanitizer. One becomes sanitizer. I am hand sanitizer. I am the brain sanitizer. I am the planet sanitizer. They took away my sage, and I, and, and I don't have my drums today, so I'm going to have to just push back the madness this way. Now, we did get off on the wrong foot, little people, and I would like for you now to listen to me. Keep all man-made chemicals away from me and plastic. I do not believe in plastic, ever, ever. Do not want to see it. So, if you will, please, we are going to make our healing spoon. So, of course, I'm not sure what, what uh, materials and mediums you're used to working in. This is walnut. This is black walnut. If one would please, um, I'm sure they're probably under your chairs. If you would go ahead and pull out uh, your instructional logs that you have, that I'm sure that your parents provided you with. Are are you? Um, sometimes I forget how dull the brains are in these littles. Are you familiar with what a log is, sir? Please sit back down. A log was a tree. And normally I do not condone the murder of trees, but when it comes to making your teaching spoon, sometimes a little bit of murder is necessary. <laughs> sometimes it's necessary to do a little chopping. And um, I would like to show you how to craft your own teaching spoon with your own two hands. So good parents, involved parents, active parents, would have sent you to school with your educational log today because I sent out the message earlier from my yurt that we would be doing some in-class exercises today that involved uh, a log at least three feet long. Did any of your parents get the message? Because I'm not seeing anyone produce a log from under their desk or under their chair. I just don't know how your parents expect me to work under these uh, circumstances. I cannot very well show you how to make a, a teaching spoon if none of you has a log. Fine. I will craft a log. Teaching is hard. This is a log of locust wood, wonderful for making fence posts. If you make a teaching log from locust wood, you can whack anybody in the head with it and it won't break. It's phenomenal. Okay. 
when you're crafting with your own two hands, you have to respect the medium. You have to respect the wood, the way you hold your wood, the way you stroke it. Sometimes you have to get a little harsh with it to get it to do what you want. So now I'm going to take a planer like that. And you just begin to craft it into the shape that you want. I'm sorry, particular individual. What is what is your name? Bison? Bi bi bison. Like the animal? Bison? Oh, Bryson. That's even worse. What were you asking me? I'm sorry, can you not see this? Um, maybe perhaps if you just lean over a little bit more. Someone's head in your way or... All right, Bryson here. Sniff the soap. I'm waving it in your direction. Don't pull your mask down. That's gross. Everyone in here, just as a reminder, make sure to keep your masks on because we want to keep me safe, okay? I don't want any of your germs. They breathe that in. Good job, Bison. No, your name is Bison now because it's actually less awful. Now, sometimes you can use your own tool. And I'm just putting in a little detail on my spoon. You could just dig it out like that. Because when I expel a healing breath on it, it makes it uh, even out very nicely. nice well now your homework for tonight here I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have this take it take you're grabbing it wrong ooh <laughs> yeah your homework tonight is to get your own educational log and craft a learning spoon unfortunately I won't be here tomorrow no unfortunately your your real teacher is supposed to come back tomorrow and uh, and then you I guess I guess you will get back into some indoctrination here with rational numbers which is kind of silly but I just want to invite each of you to my yurt and and if you would please uh, bring your parents better yet better yet I don't normally do this and you don't have to tell anybody it just just be between us if you would just take a little piece of paper and make it as small as possible so we don't kill any more trees than we have to. If you would just write down your address, where you live, and let me know if you have... Um, there are these things that some humans believe in. I personally don't. They have these things called security cameras. If you have any of those on or around your house, if you would just make note of that. Um, I do not ascribe to that particular philosophy, but if I knew about it, it might be useful. And sometimes I cannot preconceive that as I approach. And I've already been to jail for that once since the last full moon, and I cannot go again or it will completely ruin the next phase. And I just, I can't have another strange phase of the moon. I just cannot. I cannot. The rabid raccoon who lives in the abandoned house next to me said that if I have another bad phase, my hair might start falling out. And, and Fisher lately said that he, the only thing he really loves about me is my hair and, and and the fact that I send him money. And I like to think it was the drug stalking when he said that or the lack of oxygen, but I don't know. So if I can know about those things that some people believe in, that would be useful and I would love to come first to maybe look through your trash bins so if you would leave out your trash bins where I can get to them and and I will look through and I will make note of the contents and then I would like to come talk to your your uh, your caregivers about the situation and I will tailor my discussion to what I discover as I go digging you know for facts in the trash and, and then we can go from there and it, it will lead you down a path of much, much happiness and wealth and, and breath has promised that if you let me do this, 
that I, I will make a real difference in the world. And Brett said that's the most important thing. So we have to make a difference in the world. So I'm really here for the money because of, you know, the support to Serbia. But any of you that want me to come, please do that. Even if you don't want me to come, just write down your address. And, and you know, if you have like a big dog or security cameras or got a key hidden somewhere to open the door, just any, any little thing would be good to know. Yes, wonderful. All right. Well, I don't really... Oh, hello, uh, Prairie Breeze. Yes, what is it? Um, well, we were going to make a teaching spoon, but these children's uh, caregivers did not get my, my message. I sent it out. I cast it across the astral plane, and no one picked it up. It's very difficult having to live in such an uninformed world where no one understands how things work. I just don't know what to do with these people. So, oh, okay, children, I have just been informed. You don't have to say it so loud. I've just been informed that some nice officers with uniforms and stun guns are here, and they want to talk to me about something that's I'm sure it's no big deal. It might have involved an electric fence and a, and a cattle prod, but it's, it's no big deal. It's just a little misunderstanding, and I'm sure I will be right back. I will not be right back, according to Prairie Breeze here, who is going to take over all. You know, littles, I think somebody's just eager to have a chance to come in here and sit in the big people's chair and act like a teacher. Yes. Okay. Well, let's everybody welcome Prairie Breeze. That's her name. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Welcome her. Make her feel like a big grown-up who is certified. She's not. She's not. Let her feel welcome and make her feel like she's important because this will probably be the only opportunity she ever has. But I'm sure you do your best. Okay, I'm going to go talk to the nice officers and you guys let Prairie Breeze feel important for the, the next little bit, okay? Wonderful. Thank you so much for occupying this space with me today. Just uh, stay, stay back as I leave, okay?